Look now. Whether you like God or not, whether you believe he is a tyrant or whatever else, we have to go by his rules. Today I was thinking and sometimes my mind I guess it is like someone or something places things into my mind or something. I think the concept, I guess the overall concept of life is not really hard to understand. In a general view. God made us, and I believe God made us for his pleasure. I was going to say entertainment, but pleasure. Okay. I think one of the many reasons why we go through bad things is because of sin and you may say is it always because of our sin I don't think it is always because of our sin but maybe because of someone else's sin you may be in this world and you may know some rules of God. Maybe you see this world more important than God. Maybe, maybe you see like your life, your job, your prestige or your reputation as more important than God. Like, please think about it. What is larger than God? I read with someone, I read the Bible with someone, and <clears throat> I think the more we read, the more I see, and maybe the more that other person can see, to live in this life, and not try to include God in your life is a waste of time. You see, we all are going to have to leave here. You know, you may be very rich, you may have many things, but no matter what you have, I believe we all have to leave here. So if you see things in that aspect, that this existence, I guess I can say, it's not our final existence. Like, doing what is right may not always be easy, but how can I say this in words? Like, inside of my mind, I can see it, but to express it may be a little difficult. If you aren't placing God in your life first, you are wasting your time. I know you may have heard this before, you know, you may have heard this in another church. You may have heard God is good. God is great. You may have heard that, you know, you are wasting your time if you aren't living for God. See, I recommend you all 
or anyone who isn't doing it to read the Bible. I think if you read the Bible more, like it places things in, how can I say that, in aspect? Am I saying that right? Places thing in aspect? Whatever I am trying to say, you may have goals in life. I think one of the main problems some people have, they see this world as it, like the largest thing in their life is this life. I was in the book of Revelation. Some really horrible, horrible things are going to happen to this earth. Now, if the book of Revelation is true, let's say you have so much land, so much money. Let's say you have so many degrees, like master's degree, and I don't know much about degrees. What use is it when all of that stuff in the book of Revelation is going to happen. Like, what use is your car, your home? I think everything on earth is going to be destroyed. Myself, I don't like, I guess sometimes I may not mind to waste time. What I don't like doing is working hard on something for nothing. Like placing so much effort into something then find out that I wasted my time. Like taking a week to dig holes into the ground and then someone else places dirt back into them. Like, I don't like to waste time like that. Like, I don't like to place so much effort into something for nothing. I think some people in this world are placing so much effort trying to live in this life. Like, not really acknowledging God, but placing so much effort into this world. To me, that is a waste of time. Let me say this. You may not agree, but let me say it. I think working 12, 13 hours a day, six, seven days a week, I think that is a waste of time. I think working two, three jobs, working how many hours? 60 plus hours a week, to me, that is a waste of time. Kevin, I have bills and blah, 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 blah. Okay, now this may not be true for everyone, but let's say you are this right here. Let's say you are working 60 hours a week to get a car, like uh, two, three cars, a large home. Like, let's say you are working for more stuff. So you are placing so much time and effort into things that aren't going to last long. How much time are you giving God? How much time are you reading the Bible? How much time are you fasting? How much time are you praying? Like, if you are working so much, like, how will you have time for God? Well, Kevin, I don't really think 
I need to place so much time in God. I think that I, you know, if I pray for six seconds at night, that is good enough. Or if I go to church once in a blue moon, per se, that is good enough. To me, that is a waste of time placing so much effort into this world for what like how many shoes do you need how many homes how many cars do you really need seriously do you really need to place almost all of your time or should i say most of your time into working and making money like uh Please understand what I am trying to tell you. Now, I forget what scripture, chapter, and verse it is. But I believe the verse or verses goes like, Lay up your treasures in heaven where moth or rust doth corrupt whatever it says <laughs> so i assume if i follow the rules of god the rules which apply to us i believe i would be laying up treasure in heaven now i assume the treasures in heaven are eternal. Like, won't rust, won't mess up. Like, they are eternal. So, they are not like a car that over time, I guess, will break down and rust or whatever else. Like, I assume... the rewards I believe I will get in heaven won't expire if I am saying that correctly. So, if I am working for rewards in heaven, I assume they will always be with me, right? So, if God gave me a diamond or something like that, I assume as long as I exist, that diamond will exist. Please listen to what I am saying. Let's say I am working for stuff on this earth. Okay, let's say I buy a whole bunch of clothes, shoes, rings, and haircuts and stuff like that well not not haircuts but let's say i work for those clothes and cars and stuff like that over time i believe those clothes may fade or get holes into them or wear out right that car may rust or whatever else but what i receive in heaven i believe they won't expire So, let me say it like this. What if I took a very long time to build a sandcastle by the water? Let's say it took me a very long time. Let's say I placed so much details and effort into that sandcastle and like so much effort and let's say overnight or whatever the water came in 
and washed it away. What use was it in me building that sandcastle? What use was it? Okay, take that example and place it in what I was saying earlier. It is not bad to want stuff on this earth. But if you get to the point to where you are placing more time and effort in this world and not on God, what are you thinking? Isn't that like building a sandcastle by the water? Aren't you wasting your time? Build up your treasures in heaven. Follow God's rules. Be nice to people. Give to people. Pray. Do stuff of God. Build up your treasures in heaven, right? I hope this makes sense to you. I think so many people are working so hard, like, I will never work two, three jobs, never work. Like, I don't even like to work overtime. So, should I work overtime to, for what? To get more stuff? So I can get a newer car and, and some newer shoes and newer clothes so I can go around and show people I dress nice or whatever else? Vanity, isn't it? Isn't that vanity? There is nothing wrong with dressing nice, but I think some people may do it for some other reasons. What is your focus on? Is your focus on popularity on this earth or trying to live for God? Man, I believe this life is a huge test. And I believe what demons try to do is take our focus off of God and place it on insignificant stuff. I am not going to, there is nothing wrong with working. You know, you may have a wife and kids and stuff like that, but if you get to the point to where you don't really have any time to do much of anything else but work and not do anything for God and people and stuff, something is wrong. I believe something is wrong. So I pray this all makes sense. God bless you.